Hey there, I'm Hugo from Tech Corner TV and today for you and sent by Anon Star for review, I have the brand new AD203 digital microscope. But before going further about its technical characteristics, let's first see its features highlights and what's on the box. Let's get to it. I have here the box to show you. This is a retail box, not bad, uh, it's well packed, uh, nothing special. It doesn't say Anon Star anywhere, but I believe that's because of the rebranding. And first of all, we have a user manual. It is in English and other two languages. I believe it's Chinese and I don't know the other one. We have here the technical specifications all the functions that you can do on the microscope. I didn't receive this little bag, I don't know why, but yeah, it should have one bag also. Um, what else? We have here uh, the quick functions, the quick start guides, software installation. It comes with AM cap. But when connected to the PC, you can use any software uh, you wish. It, it works like a webcam. You can use it as a webcam. And yeah, that's it. Uh, the rest is on the other language. Let's see what's on the box. First of all, uh, I have here a, USB a micro USB to USB type A cable for charging and also uh, for connecting to the PC, you use it, this cable. You have a little strap so you can hold to the microscope. Uh, yeah, use it like this since it is portable. Uh, I will not put it on. And also a 32 gigabyte uh, SD card included with the microscope. And at last, let me take this out of the way. We have the microscope itself. It has this gun shape, as you can see. It's from Anon Star, as I told you before. Uh, it's very light, something like 200 grams. So on the top you have the, the control keys, the, the power on. We have the OK, the menu selection, the up and down. Those keys have uh, normally uh, also two functions. I will show you in a bit. In the side, you have here the focus um, knob. It will help to focus the image. On the front, you have here, I don't know if you see, you have here a button, a button, no, a knob to control the LED intensity and also a nut in here in this hole a quarter inch nut so you can use a tripod or any photographic equipment to hold this microscope. The LEDs are composed of eight LEDs. The light is composed of eight LEDs and you open like this and you have a quarter inch um, screen. Let me start by opening this also. In here you have the SD card slot and the connector for the USB cable to connect to the PC. Let's put the SD card on the slot. Just a moment. Yeah, it goes, oh, it goes like this. Yeah, that's it. And we are ready to go. As you can see, it's pretty small. We have here the speaker where the sound comes off and also the mic, I believe. Uh, okay, to power on, we press this key. Wait a little. As you can see, it has a very nice image. 
We can control the LEDs, as I told you before, with this. The intensity is controlled here. It, the, the light will help a lot in the image quality when observing something. Um, so, in terms of functions, you have the normal function to, to see. Uh, for example, I'm going to get one coin and let's see what we have here. Okay, we can focus a bit. Yeah, you can see this. And also, after the image being focused, you can zoom in like this and fine tune the image. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can see all the details. This is a, a British uh, coin. Now, let me show you the menu. Okay, we are now in the image recording uh, mode. While in that mode, pressing for a, few for a few moments the M button, you will access the menu. On the menu, you have the resolution that you can uh, select. Okay. You can press OK to change the menu and using the keys you can change the resolution of your recording. When set, you press OK again and you are back to the menu. We, has, we have also loop recording. You can set the time, exposure and the record audio on or off. And also, you can set up the uh, if you want to the date and time on the recording or not. Pressing menu again, it will take you to the uh, microscope uh, menu. On that menu, you can set the time. Also, uh, you can set the language. You have several language available: English, Fran French, Deutsch, Portuguese, also, and Italian and Spanish. So, uh, I will live in English and you can also change the frequency at 60 Hz or 50 Hz, depending on the lights and everything else. Moving on, you can format your SD cards, do a factory default and also you have the version of the microscope software. Um, and that's it. When finished, you can press menu and we will go back again to the main screen. If we change, uh, if we press OK, you will uh, start recording. Let me show you. And let's put this in here. I will zoom out a bit because right now it's a little bit zoom in. OK, we have here a nice image. And let's start recording. Elizabeth. Yeah. As you can see, this is a British coin. Okay. We recorded a bit. I will show you after. Uh, you can see on the screen how the recording is is uh, coming out when moving the uh, the microscope up and down you can focus or defocus so be careful with that yeah a very nice image okay let's stop the recording and now uh, stop the recording yeah <laughs> okay and now we can change also pressing on menu once to picture mode. In picture mode you will have the chance of taking pictures as you can see or can hear. Yeah, it's, it's taking pictures of what you are seeing. And pressing again on menu you have the chance to go and see the, the pictures you, you took, uh, the recording, and yeah, that's it. As you can see, the, the image, it's quite good. 
I will show you also on your screen. And finally, pressing M again, you are back to the movie mode, uh, movie recording or image recording mode, as you can see on the side. This is photo and this is uh, the, the SD card uh, list. And pressing again, we are again in, we are again in uh, image recording. Let's go to picture. Uh, and in this mode, if you press again the M to access the setup, you can see that you have here different uh, kind of uh, settings to define the image. You have, for example, the file format. Uh, the sequence, if you are in sequence or not, the quality, the sharpness of the, the image, the white balance, the ISO, the exposure, anti-shaking, and also a quick review if you want and what time you should have the quick review, and also if you want the date stamp in the pictures you, you take. If you press M again, we go again to the general microscope setup and finally we are back to the normal uh, operation you have here on the top the number of pictures you can take and the resolution in here you have the information that the sd card is inserted and also the battery and in here it's the uh, information of the options for taking the image. Let's press M again and go to move, uh, image recording. On image recording you have in here the timestamp, the time that is available for recording and the recording format. In this case we are recording at 1080 full HD. Also the image, uh, the SD card inserted and the battery uh, capacity. And the last one are the settings for this. We are recording with sound and it seems okay. So as you can see, some keys have two functions. This one, for example, access menu and also change the recording mode from movie to photo and to storage. And for example, this key, if you press it, it will for, for a moment it will change the, uh, the rotation of the screen. So right now you should have the image on the right uh, sides for seeing like this. If you press again, you will rotate the screen again. We are again in normal mode. Let me focus here something. We have also the down button. This down button is also uh, it also has a second function. If you press it for a while, it will activate the negative mode. It will show you uh, the image in negative. Pressing again, it will turn to normal, and you have the up button also. Pressing for a while. Let me press for a while. And what the hell, man? And you have the up button pressing for a while, it will show you in black and white. Since we are seeing this image uh, <laughs> that is, uh, well, almost black and white, the screen, let me get, grab here something I like uh, this. I have here something in blue. As you can see, let me start the black and white mode. And then you can see it's in black and white. Also my hand. Uh, okay. My finger over there. Yeah, also in black and white. After pressing for a while, it's on color again. It might be useful for some case. So this is the function of the microscope, as you can see. The light has a big influence on the image quality. Uh, without light, the image tend to be 
uh, weaker, not so good. Let me show you, for example, a dime for my North American friends. This is a, a dime for one of the times I was there. And I loved both times I visited the USA and also Britain. Uh, okay, so as you can see, it's a nice and sharp image. Yeah. And you can also, as I told you before, zoom in digitally. And with this knob on the side, you can uh, fine tune the focus. Okay. That's it. Let's move on with a portable design and a weight of only 220 grams you can easily carry this digital microscope to anywhere and it is very versatile for collectors for example to observe coins stamps stones or even electronics for circuit analysis comes with a 4 inch LCD screen with a resolution of 800 by 480 pixels. It is not necessary to connect it to a computer or mobile phone to be able to use it and you can see on its screen the objects that you are analyzing. To get a bigger image you can connect the AD203 directly to a computer via USB connection. The light made up of 8 LEDs it's dimmable and helps its 2 megapixel sensor to obtain a sharper images, which you can observe on its screen or record on video or photo using a 32 GB micro SD card that is already included. Videos are recorded in AVI format in 1080p, Full HD, 1080p HD, and also 720p HD. And in all modes, you get a 30 frames per second frame rate. In the photos, the maximum resolution you get is 12 megapixels, with a resolution of 4032 by 3024 pixels in JPEG format. But as I am talking to you about a microscope, it's important to mention that you can magnify from 50 to 1000 times using a combination of analog and digital magnification with a minimum dis distance of one centimeter from what you want to observe. For your convenience, the AD203 offers 12 different languages and uses an internal rechargeable battery. Through its quarter inch input or hole, you can easily use a universal tripod to fix it and use it more easily without having to hold it. Let me show you. Okay, just set the screen up and you are ready to go. And this is what I have for you today. If this video was in any way useful to you, don't forget, give a thumbs up and press the like button. If you haven't already, also please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell to be the first to be notified whenever I post a new video. Stay safe and I hope to see you in my next video. Cheers.